Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Lord. Again, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, sir. Amen. That's becoming amen. one of my favorite scriptures. That's one that Mother Lee always used. Okay. But we're grateful, amen, to be in the land of the living to bring another dynamic Bible class uh, for you tonight. Mm -hmm. We say praise the Lord to all of those by way of Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> Giving a shout out to uh, our brothers and sisters in Pakistan. Amen. Uh, Evangelist Bhatti and Evangelist Paul. Yes, sir. I want you to keep uh, her mother in prayer, mm. Sister Mary Bibi. Mm -hmm. uh, she's having some issues with her heart and diabetes, mm. but we know and believe God and trust God yes, sir. that uh, he's going to perform a miracle. Mm. Amen. Give a shout out to our Chief Apostle, uh, Marshall Thomas, and Mother Pat. Yeah. Thomas, the founders of uh, Pentecostal Fellowship Churches, mm -hmm. uh, to Apostle Dean, uh, they're on their way back to Mexico wow. for another revival. They had 15 people got baptized in the Holy oh, Ghost right man, this now. last week, and now they're back, right. going back again <laughs> to Mexico. All right, so now. they are on the move for the Lord. Yes. Uh, if everybody would just do their part, as Dr. Priest always says, there'll be no lack. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're going to go into a word of prayer, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go into our uh, lesson tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, this lesson is centered around the things that's been happening yes, uh, these last few days. Uh, we want to thank those who are working behind the scenes, like Dr. Lewis, Dr. Uh, Walker, mm -hmm. and Sister Danielle King, who yeah. always helping us to putting these things together. Oh, yes. And again, we Thank realize you. that we can't do these things because it takes a lot of people, a lot of things, a lot of people to help us do what has to be done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're not a perfect church, not a perfect uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not professionals at this, but unfortunately, people, some people are looking for a perfect church. Mm -hmm. No church is perfect. That's right. And when you walk through the doors, it became imperfect. Not even the building is perfect That's right. because everything is not uh, perfectly square. All right now. You find uh, stakes in everything. Yes, sir. But nevertheless, uh, we have a God who is perfect. Come on now. And he's the mm -hmm. only one that is perfect. That's right. Yes, sir. The only one without sin. Yes. And we're so grateful for what Jesus did for us on the cross of Calvary mm -hmm. by shedding his blood for us. Time is running out on the world. Mm -hmm. Running out on the church, running yes. out on the individual. Yes. So, Dr. Fraser, will you please uh, yes. take us before yes, the throne? Sir. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come this evening to say thank you. God, we're thankful, we're grateful you've allowed us to be yes, here Jesus. one more time, one more day, one more hour. Lord, we love you, we appreciate you. Father God, as we come this evening, we ask God that you would just bless us today. Each and every person, God, that Jesus. hears, God, this lesson tonight, we pray, God, that they will be enhanced and somebody tonight will give their life to yes, you. Jesus. Somebody tonight, hallelujah, will say, what must I do to be saved? Lord, bless us, God, as only thank you, you can, Lord God. And we just thank you, God. You're so good to us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He is so good to us. Yes, amen. Sir. And yes, we're sir. grateful, amen, for another day. Mm -hmm. Uh, that we are here in the land of the living. Yes, sir. Doing what does say the Lord. Now, our topic tonight <laughs> is a very simple one. It's called, right. what's going on? What's going on? It's in a form of a question. All what's right. going on? Yes, sir. And I should be saying, why Why is it going on? Okay. And what must we do or can we do to stop mm -hmm. some of these uh, tragedies that's happening in this world? Yes, sir. Our scripture is coming from Psalms, mm -hmm. chapter 9, verse 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. But we're going to draw our thought from verse number 17. Okay. That is Psalms, chapter 9, verse 16 through 17 from the King James. I don't know if my uh, workers are behind the scenes to have the scriptures yet. Okay. Nevertheless, we'll repeat those several times so that you can get them. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Right, uh, thank you. The Gospel Queen. Amen. 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 Dr. Priest, please read for us. Amen. Psalms 9, verse 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. Mm -hmm. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hand. Amen. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hand. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
uh, 17, mm -hmm. the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. Amen. Mm. Verse 17 says, the wicked shall be turned to hell and all nations. Mm. That's mm. every nation under the sun to include this United States of America. And this country that we're in is in trouble mm -hmm. because this country has turned her back on the one and only one who can do any and everything That's right. That's for right. mankind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise yes, God. Sir. So that word shall mean it will happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Yes, yes, sir. The wicked shall be turned into hell mm -hmm. and all nations that forget God. And nation after nation. Mm -hmm. This country was founded upon some principles, very principles of the Bible. Some yes. people argue with you and say, no, it wasn't. But when Congress got together, they prayed and had church services in the, the Congress before they conducted business. They prayed. Mm -hmm. They prayed in the name of the Lord. One God. Yes. The Almighty God. That's right. Right. The God who sent his son to die on a cross for us. Mm -hmm. And all these other gods that someone has to make out of a stone or a piece of wood and carry around. And okay. they, they worship these gods mm -hmm. and then pr producing works, mm -hmm. trying to be saved. All right. There's only one way to be saved, and that is through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, so many people have said there's multiple ways to get to God. There's no multiple ways, only one way, that's and right. that's through Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. And Jesus is the only answer for the world today. Yes, sir. You know, Marvin Gaye wrote a song called What's Going On. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. And the song was a political song mm -hmm. that Barry Gordy did not want to play the song because it was a political song. Okay. okay. It was bringing out the consciousness of people, mm. having them to think about what's going on. That's right, that's right. Uh, what's going on in life mm -hmm. or in our society in general. All right. People being killed, people on drugs, mm -hmm. poverty, yes. mental illness. Yes, yes sir. What's going on? It sounds like mm. not very much has changed because we're still dealing with the same situation here in year 2022. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, next month I'll be 72 years old. Amen. I think I had a very good childhood mm -hmm. in my time frame and my generation. Okay. And I'm sure that when my generation is coming up, our parents and the ones before said the same thing. What's going on? Yes, sir. And the word of God tells us that every generation is going to get worse. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe paraphrasing that, okay, it's going to get worse. The That's love right. of many That's right. is getting colder and colder. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And mm -hmm. one of the reasons is so many people are being raised without the benefit of loving God okay. and having a relationship okay. with Jesus. That's right. That's right. What's mm -hmm. going on with our life? Mm -hmm. What's going on in society yes. in general? Mm. We are experiencing civil unrest. Yes. yes. Protesting after another, after another, after another. Mm -hmm. About everything mm -hmm. under the sun. Now, I would say there are some things that need to be protested uh -huh. to make a change. That's right. That's right. In the country, we are witnessing gun violence mm. more and more each and every day. Oh, you wake up in the morning here in the city of San Antonio. Mm -hmm. Every time you turn the news on, there was somebody getting shot That's right. by a gun yes, yes, or someone's uh, house or some business is on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And come to find out that we have some homes here uh, that are historical because of the age of them okay. are catching on fire, mm -hmm. trying to make room for progress. What's going on? Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of things that we can point fingers at. Yes, sir. Who's to blame? Mm -hmm. Someone to blame the president. Now, you have to understand that these people in <clears throat> office are elected officials yeah. elected by us, right. by the, uh, the, the people in the United States, those right. who, who have voted. That's right, Bishop. I am not one who claims to be a Republican or Democrat, 
I'm one who believes who I'll vote my consciousness and vote righteousness. Okay. Regardless of what party. Mm -hmm. If you can see what we have in office now, uh, unfortunately, the Democratic Party, and I'm not pushing any party, but I'm just put, giving you the highlights. Okay. And you can't uh, uh, deny it. But the Democratic Party is one of the most liberal parties, and it's getting more liberal because even in this election, Texas has been highlighted and been looked at closely for the Democratic Party to see mm -hmm. how liberal it's going to become. That's right. If the state's going to become liberal. That's right. That's right. I consider myself a, a conservative. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in abortion. Mm -hmm. I believe that life begins at conception. Yes. I don't believe in same sex marriage. I don't believe in transgenders. I don't believe in anything that opposes the word of God. All right now. The devil is a lie. All right. The devil has risen. The devil is, is bold. Mm -hmm. He walks in your church, don't care about church anymore. It was a time that people would pass a church and right. they respected the church. They wouldn't exactly. smoke in front of a church. Right. They wouldn't drink past in the church. Mm -hmm. They respected the church. But the devil has gotten so bold because God is no longer allowed in government, no longer allowed in the schools, and no longer allowed in some homes. So he be so bold. So as I was saying, we're witnessing gun violence more and more. Mm -hmm. And as time goes by, we're seeing more school shootings. Yes. Just mm -hmm. past a few weeks, we had a, a sub, subway station shooting. That's right. That's Not right. the salmon shop, but right. uh -huh. up there in New York where they ride subways, mm -hmm. there was a shooting. Shooting up malls yes. and places of worship, yes. houses of worship. Mm -hmm. And it's just a name of Q. And I call these a public tar uh, targets, also known as soft targets. Okay. Meaning that right. there's nothing that they have to blow up mm. or to break in. Targets of opportunity that these gunmen are taking. Yes, that's right. That's right. After every incident of this nation, in this nation, mm -hmm. <laughs> I said nature, but right. <laughs> some politicians use these incidents Come on now. to their advantage, That's right. That's seeking right. a position in, the, mm -hmm. in some office, That's right. as we witnessed yesterday right. when Beto O'Rourke mm -hmm. took right. that opportunity That's right. That's and right. disgraced mm. the memory of those young people That's and right. the innocent people yes, sir. because mm -hmm. of some deranged teenager mm -hmm. who didn't like himself mm -hmm. decided to take innocent life That's right. That's babies right. haven't had a chance to grow up to make a difference mm -hmm. it hurts my heart to believe that we have become a nation of barbarism mm -hmm. it hurt my heart Jesus. to see this kind of uh, horrific acts mm -hmm. of violence mm -hmm. on innocent people mm -hmm. Killing folks because of the color of their skin or because of their beliefs. That's right. We may not agree with people. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with other religions. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with same sex marriages and, and homosexuality. Okay. Okay. But I'm not surely going to go out and kill them. That's right. Because they have made the choice to mm -hmm. do those evils. That's right. That's right. And it is an evil. Mm -hmm. And I will tell them that. Mm -hmm. You come to my church. I'm going to embrace you. That's right. But I'm also going to tell you that you're in sin mm. because it goes against the word of God. Okay. What's okay. going on? Mm. Well, what's going on is that God has no place mm. in society. That's right. In America culture, in most cases. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some say we need more gun control laws mm. on the books. There's enough laws on the books. Mm. They just want to enforce what's on the books. That's right. All right, Some yeah. blame mental health mm -hmm. as a reason why these things are happening. Mm -hmm. I found out that America owns 40% of the guns in the world. Mm -hmm. We have about 400 million guns right. in this country. That's right, Bishop. Now, mm -hmm. I'm a gun owner. I've handled guns in the military. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I was a cop in the military. Right. I'm not afraid of guns, and I'm not afraid to use one if I have to use one to protect my wife, my family, my resources, my church. All right. If it comes down to that. Okay. All right, Bishop. I do believe we all have a right to bear arm, mm -hmm. as our constitution says. That's right. But we also have to have some understanding when 
and when not to shoot. There's another reason why we have uh, so much violence in this country. And we're gonna point that out shortly mm -hmm. as we get through this lesson. All right. Mm -hmm. and, and Bishop, mm -hmm. many people are asking, where is God mm. in all of this? And why won't want, I'm sorry, he do something? Where is something? God in all of this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why won't he do something? Jesus. What's going on? What's going Amen. on? Amen. Bishop? Mm -hmm. Bishop, in fact, one new reporter stated that if God cannot stop this, but we know God can stop anything, mm -hmm. is that true? That's right. And our government cannot stop this, then what can we do? Amen. A news reporter made a statement, mm. if God can't stop it, Come on now. and our government can't stop mm -mm -mm. it, what can we do? Oh, have mercy. Now, every believer who believes in the Almighty God know that God can stop anything That's right. if he wants to. Come on now. One reason God does not move mm. or act is because he's not invited to move or act. Right. He's not going to go against your rights, your, your desires. Right. Because he has created us with the power to choose. Okay. And as okay. a result of us choosing, our country has chosen to put prayer out of school. That's right. To put uh, our commandments of our holy God mm -hmm. out of our government, mm -hmm. away from the court courthouses. Mm -hmm. And as a result of these things, we have what we see today. Right. One woman got prayer taken out of school. Mm. Now, you can say it was the will of God to do that because the Bible is going to fulfill itself. All right. You can say that, but I like to say the church had her head buried in the sand mm. because we were too busy fighting one another because of stupid denominations. Mm. Yeah, I said it, stupid denominations. When we should have been dealing with talking about kingdom thinking, kingdom building, All right. building the kingdom of God here on this earth, regardless of your denominational beliefs. Okay. I can okay. care less how you baptize. I baptize in Jesus' name according to the word of God. Mm. But I can care less how you baptize. Okay. One thing we ought to have in common, and that's Jesus. Mm. Him and crucified. Mm. He's the one who came and gave his life for mankind so that we can be saved by grace. All right. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, you ask what is going on and what are the reasons? Mm -hmm. Well, there are several reasons, in my opinion, All right. what is going on. Okay. Why are these things that happen? First of all, this is my opinion now. Okay, okay. It brings fear or it puts fear mm -hmm. in the lives of innocent people. That's true. Because when you see on the news and mm -hmm. see the bloodshed mm -hmm. and the tragedy, mm -hmm. fear becomes a dominant place in people's lives. That's true. That's now, true. every believer was know that God did not give us the spirit of fear. Fear is a spirit. Mm -hmm. But when you does, do not have a good relationship, a tight relationship with God, okay. fear is going to dominate your life. Yeah, that's true. And that's, that's true. one of the things that, oh, the, that the shooters are doing, that mm. the enemy has convinced him mm. to introduce fear mm. Mm. in the lives of people. That's right, Bishop. Mm. 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 Second reason, it mm. gives notoriety to the shooter. That's right. That's Make right. a name for himself. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Third, mm -hmm. you have copycatting mm -hmm. of other shootings. All right. They All shoot right. on anniversaries. Mm -hmm. When the Sandy Hook shooting took place, here come another anniversary. Somebody is trying to outdo mm -hmm. that gunman, That's right. trying to uh, capitalize on the number of people to be killed. That's right. To make a name for himself. Mm -hmm. Fourth, the shooter blames others for their mm -hmm. unhappiness. That's right. That's if right. you ever look at one or talk one or do some certain research on one, mm -hmm. you'll find out that they're unhappy about their lives. Okay. They don't like themselves. They, right. In other words, it, it goes to my next one, number five, the, mm -hmm. the shooter lacks self-love. That's right. Okay. Because if okay. you don't love yourself, Come on now. you're not going to love somebody That's else. That's true. Woo. Amen. Mm -hmm. we, have, we were taught coming up, treat others That's as right. you want to be treated. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if you love yourself, mm -hmm. you will love others. That's true, Bishop. If you treat yourself right, mm -hmm. you will treat others right. All right. Six, All right. <laughs> in my opinion again, okay. 
the shooters is seeking suicide by cop. Mm. And you probably heard that many times that yes. some people yes. want to commit suicide by cop. Mm. In other words, they were too cowardly to mm. take their own lives. So they did an act of violence for the police officers in their right, in a lot of cases, mm -hmm. to take their lives. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wow. And Bishop, mm -hmm. now Jesus calls this a generation of vipers. Is that true? That is true. Jesus mm -hmm. refers to mm -hmm. this generation. Yeah. A generation of vipers. Mm -hmm. Now, please don't take the word generation okay. and try to apply it only to young people. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. The generation we're in is a time frame that we're mm -hmm. in. All right. Every 10 years is a new generation. Okay. Is that correct? That's right. Every 10 okay. years is a new generation. Mm -hmm. And so as the generation grows up, another generation generation comes about. Mm -hmm. But this is a generation of vipers. Mm -hmm. A deadly generation. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. what a, a viper is. A mm. viper is a poisonous snake. Mm. A deadly generation. Let's take a look mm. at Matthew's gospel, mm -hmm. chapter 12, verse 34 in the King James. All right. All right. Let me read that for you. Yes, ma'am. Matthew's gospel, mm -hmm. chapter 12, 34 in the King James, and it's written in red, indicating again that Jesus is the one who's making these statements. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, generation of vipers. Oh, generation of vipers. How can ye, mm -hmm. being evil, speak good things? Mm -hmm. For out of the abundance of the hearts, ooh, the mouth speaketh. Now, that's something very important in that scripture. Okay. Oh, generation of vipers. How can you, being evil, mm -hmm. speak good things? Right. See, a generation of vipers. They have nothing good to say about anything. They have nothing good to say about God. They have nothing good to say about their parents. Okay. They have nothing good to say about life, period. Okay. Because this is a poisonous generation. And keep in mind, it says being evil, mm -hmm. speak good things. That's right. For out of the abundance mm -hmm. of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yes. Many times I have said <laughs> that what's in your heart That's right. is what you're going to do. True, now notice now what it says Matthew 30, 12 and 34 says, O generous and viper, mm -hmm. vipers, mm -hmm. how can you being evil speak good things? Mm -hmm. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Mm -hmm. The scripture uses the word for out of the abundance mm -hmm. of the heart, your mouth is going to speak. Mm -hmm. Now, how does it get in there in the first place? Okay. Well, in other words, All right. one can become what they eat or digest. Mm -hmm. Listen with Claire carefully. Okay, we become what we eat or digest. Mm -hmm. What you put in your system come on now. eventually is going to come out of your That's system. True. That's true. Remember what Jesus said is not what goes in that defiles, mm -hmm. but what mm -hmm. comes out. Mm -hmm. What comes out will defile, mm -hmm. not what you take in. But you have to be careful what you allow in your system because what you allow in can become poison to your system. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. now, now, Bishop, mm -hmm. now, if you learn anything about most of these shooters, mm -hmm. okay, do most of the time is playing video games. Most of the time they're mm -hmm. playing video games Come such on. as Grand Theft mm -hmm. Auto mm -hmm. or Mortal Kombat. Now, listen carefully what she said. All right. If you ever mm -hmm. find out what the shooters have been doing Come prior on. to all of this. That's right. What material have they been reading? That's right. What do they take in 24 hours a day? Mm -hmm. Even on. if they're in school, their That's minds right. are right. infiltrated That's right. on some video game. Mm -hmm. And I know of parents, I've been telling you all before, you need to be very, very careful of what your children are playing. Right now. Because even when they come to church, their heads are buried in these tablets and phones. They don't even know where they're going. Come on now. You need to be careful and monitor what they're watching. That's right. That's and right. take it from them mm. because you're the ones paying for it. All right. Okay. Now, watch now. Mm. She said they're watching and playing mm -hmm. things like Grand Theft Auto yeah. and Mortal Kombat. Yes, sir. Yes. There was a study titled mm -hmm. called Violent Video Games yes. Can Increase Aggravation. All right. Aggregation, excuse uh -huh. me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Aggression. Aggression, excuse me. Uh -huh. Aggression. Mm -hmm. 
violent video games mm. can increase aggression. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Tell sir. us a little bit about the study. Woo. The study states that video games mm -hmm. may be more harmful than violent television and movies because of the interactive nature of the games. Did y'all hear that? Mm. There's a study being done, and we'll tell you who did okay. the study later on. A study being done to determine mm -hmm. that video games mm -hmm. are more violent because when you're playing video games, That's you right. are actually interacting with the game. That's right. Okay. Versus watching a movie and it's instead not. of uh, playing the game. Okay. You're okay. playing the game, you're interacting with the game, so you're mm -hmm. taking more in okay. because of the, the interaction. Okay. That's why I said video games may be more harmful than violent television mm. and movies because of the interactive nature of the games. Mm. Video games All right. and aggressive thoughts, yes. feelings, yes. and behavior. Mm -hmm. They did a study in the laboratory and in life. Okay. It's coming from okay. out of uh, Washington. All right. All right. Please read this. Read that. Mm -hmm. All right. Coming out of Washington, as you stated, playing violent video games like Doom. Games I never heard of. Me either. Mm -hmm. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein 3D. Never 3D, heard of it. Or Mortal Kombat. Heard of that one. Right. Mm -hmm can increase a person's aggressive thoughts. Did you hear what she said? These type of games mm -hmm. can increase That's right. a person's aggressive thoughts. thoughts. And what else? Feelings. Feelings. Behavior. Behavior. Now, both in the laboratory settings mm -hmm. and in actual life. They did the study in the in the laboratory, mm -hmm. a controlled environment, mm -hmm. and in life. Mm -hmm. Now, according to two studies, appearing in the April issue of the American Psychological Association, mm -hmm. Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. Furthermore, violent video games may be more harmful than violent television and movies. Again, because of the interaction that's because, that's right. of the game. That's right. Very engrossing. Yes, yes. yes. And requiring the player to identify with the aggressor, uh -huh. says the researcher. That's right. Mm -hmm. They pointed it out. That's right. Playing these video games, yes. you begin to identify with the aggressor. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the Stockholm Syndrome. That's right. Come when on. the Stockholm Syndrome take, falls or takes place, mm -hmm. a man sets in. Mm -hmm. When you have been captured, like Patty Hearst, those who remember mm -hmm. Patty Hearst, Mm -hmm. You begin to identify with your captor. Mm -hmm. So when you get infiltrated with, with Satan, you begin to identify with his thoughts. That's right. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know, mm -hmm. one study, okay, one study reveals that young men who are habitually aggressive may be especially vulnerable to the aggression, enhancing effects of repeated exposure to violent games. See. Ooh. repeatingly mm. watching and playing these violent mm. games over and over and over mm. to the point where it's in your subconscious, mm. even when they're asleep, they're thinking about these aggressions. That's right. They're thinking about these violent mm. games, mm. trying to Come score on. the top score and right. be the number one in this. Mm. Mm. And eventually they began to Carry it out in reality. That's right, Bishop. Because you got the mindset of crazy people mm. saying, well, why don't we do a, a real life game? Come on now. It was just a few uh, weeks or maybe a month, a month ago. Mm -hmm. It was two teenage kids. One's a female, older than a young, young male, mm -hmm. broke into this house. And also there was a movie made uh, on the FBI, picked this up and they did a movie out of it. Mm -hmm. Broke in his house and found some guns, some AR-15s and some uh, uh, AK-47 mm. assault rifles. Okay. And the neighbors saw him break in, call the police, mm. and they began to shoot at the cops. Now, the, the girl was doing it because she was the oldest. Mm -hmm. She was doing it. She was trying to hold a gun like a gangster. Mm -hmm. But what I heard on this thing, it was on YouTube, uh, I'm sorry, on Facebook, Okay. that the cop was saying, oh, please don't let me shoot him. Well, you know, I had my thoughts why he was saying that because they were white kids. Mm, that's that's right. my thought. All right. But mm. my point is, when they interviewed him, they got the idea from watching video games, playing video games. That's right. 
imitating right. what they saw, right. what they were doing mm -hmm. in the video game. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. And the other study reveals that even a brief exposure to violent video games can temporarily increase aggressive behavior in all types of participants. Amen. And this was identified by uh, psychologist Craig A. Anderson, yes. a PhD, and Karen mm -hmm. E. Deal, PhD. Yes. yes. And it came out of, uh, I think, Washington. Mm -hmm. okay. the, I'm sorry. It's a different university. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. The first study? Now, the first study involved 227 college students mm -hmm. who completed a measure of trait aggressiveness and reported their actual aggressive behaviors. Now, excuse me. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Go ahead. These are the students themselves mm -hmm. who kept record of what happened after playing these games. That's right. All right. So she she said uh, reported their actual aggressive behavior. That's right. Their delinquency. Delinquency. That's right. When they played them, mm -hmm. they began to carry out what they played. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delinquency in the recent past. Uh huh. They also reported their video game playing habits. Come on. We found that students who reported playing more violent video games in junior and high school engage in more aggressive behavior. You see what it said? Mm -hmm. In junior and high school. Mm -hmm. But we know, we know Come on now. that it starts earlier than That's right. junior That's right. Come on and now. high school. That's right. It's starting mm -hmm. almost immediately after the baby is born. Come on. Oh, it's starting. Ooh. It's carried on in, in, in mm -hmm. kindergarten. Oh, and then it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows because a lot of parents are not paying attention to what their children are doing. Right. Oh, They're only giving these games to get them out of their hair mm -hmm. because the parents sometimes mm -hmm. want to go do some dirt. Mm -hmm. Too busy. Jesus. Feeding your gut, too busy, mm -hmm. busy watching your stuff that you want to do, mm -hmm. sacrificing your children to Moloch. Mm -hmm. What else did it say, dear? We also found that amount of time spent playing video games in the past was associated with lower academic grades in college. See, in Ooh. college, but can't mature enough to get away from the game. Mm -hmm. Mine is on playing video game. So the grades suffer mm. because of the mess, yes. the garbage yes. that they're eating. Yes. They're taking it in. Mm -hmm. No, it, this is not literally eating it, but you may as well say they're eating it because what goes in them is coming out of them. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. These games can cause one to become desensitized, mm. meaning to be hardened. To be numb, mm. you don't care. You know, I was watching uh, the tales of Wells Fargo, the Western. Okay. And one of the episodes uh, was dealing with a town called uh, Sweet Slumber. Okay. It got the name called Sweet Slumber mm -hmm. because after a gunfight, the person that got killed, they just lay, let them lay in the streets, mm -hmm. and folks came and walked over them. They were desensitized. Just another dead body. We, America, has, is becoming desensitized yes, of things that's going on around us because so many people are so concerned about me, myself, and I. Right. Me, 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 me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. It's about me. It's about me. It's about me. Mm -hmm. And it's not about anybody else. It's not about helping somebody. It's about what you can do for your own self. Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. The world stage is setting up mm -hmm. for right. the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Can Jesus stop this? Mm -hmm. Yes, he can. Yes, yes. But we always say that the Bible has to fulfill mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. Things are unraveling. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we have to believe and trust God that none of this mm -hmm. will come nigh our dwellings. Jesus. And the only reason, only way we can ensure that is we have to have a good right relationship with the almighty god that's right that's be right. obedient to his command mm -hmm. see some of y'all been playing russian roulette with your soul mm -hmm. you think just because god did not stop you did not do this or that he's given everybody time and space to repent that's true. and turn from yes, sir. your wicked ways yes, sir. if my people which are called by my name his that's name right. that's right not priestly name that's but right. his name come on now 
turn from their wicked ways, seek his face, pray, yeah. humble themselves, All right now. and then he will heal from Ooh. heaven Lord, and sick. heal the land. This land we're in is sick, mm. sin sick. Mm. And we often say it's not a, 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 a skin problem, it's a sin problem. All right now. Praise God. Mm. Matthew 24, 3 through 14. This mm. is a long reading. Oh, yes, it is, Bishop. Matthew okay. 24. Verse 3 through 14 in the New King James, mm -hmm. Jesus, his disciples are asking mm -hmm. him, That's right. what will be the signs of him coming mm -hmm. and of the end of the age, right end right. of time? All right. And we're going to read this and, right. and stick with us. Okay. Read verse 4, please, dear. Verse 4. And mm. Jesus answered and said to them, Come on. Take heed that no one deceives you. Jesus is saying, Jesus. you better pay attention mm -hmm. that no one deceive you. Let me stop for a moment. Okay, all right. The only time we talk about somebody deceiving us mm -hmm. from, from the religious orders in the church is when it comes to receiving money. money. That's right. Oh, they're trying to deceive you. They're trying to deceive you. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what he's talking about. All right. He's talking about being deceived what people have done in the past, like your Jim Joneses, mm -hmm. deceive these people, making themselves to be somebody that they're not. Mm -hmm. Read, please, dear. Mm -hmm. Verse five. Okay. Uh, for many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and mm -hmm. will deceive many. That's exactly what was happening. Lord have mercy. That was highlighted some years ago. Yes, yes. It's on a little download to a certain point, but it's still active. All right. It is still active, people. Mm -hmm. Some are saying that they are Christ mm -hmm. and deceiving many, okay. deceiving those who do not have the discernment of spirit. Mm -hmm. And the reason why so many don't have the discernment of spirit is because they have not been baptized with the Holy Ghost. All right. All right. Verse six. six. And you will hear of wars mm -hmm. and rumors of wars. Come on now. See that you are not troubled. Come on. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not. Yes. We hear rumors of wars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And wars. See? Yes, sir. Rumors of wars mm -hmm. and wars. All right. We've been having hearing rumors of wars before Russia decided to do what he's gonna do. Right. They're gonna do. All right. And now there is a war. Right. A war that is drawing the attention of a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. And guess what? What? Communist China may go into a war with Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And if that happens, guess what, America? We're going to war. We're going to war because we are so concerned about computer chips mm -hmm. that this country can afford to build these things themselves, mm -hmm. but we can't because it costs too much over here. Right. Do you know that we import 15 million barrels of oil a day mm -hmm. and also export the same amount every day? Jeez. That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. But they said it's cheaper to bring in foreign oil than for us to send oil from Texas to California. What is going on? To me, it's just downright stupid. Then we have all this oil reserve that we don't want to use. Yes, sir. What are we saving it for? A rainy day? Mm -hmm. But we're we're paying five, six, seven dollars a, a, a gallon at the pumps. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm not gonna let that fear uh, put fear in me. Because of who I am and whose I am. All right. All right. Read there. Seven. Seven. For nation will rise against nation. Come on. And kingdom against kingdom. Mm -hmm. And there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. Let me deal with famine just briefly. Okay. Okay. When you have inflation, it's going to cause famine. All right. Because the shells are what? Empty. Yes, sir. As we're emptying shells of baby formula. Yes, come on so now. it's getting thinner and thinner or getting less and less. Mm -hmm. The prices go up and the only one who can afford to get them are the ones in wealth. Mm. Church, again, money answers all things. And here we are again. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So famine has to do with, it's connected with inflation. That's right. That's right. Verse 8. Mm. All these are the beginning of sorrow. This is just the beginning of sorrow. Jesus. Nine. Jesus. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation mm -hmm. and kill you. They, they, will, oh, they will deliver us up. Uh -huh. The saved one, the, 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 the Jesus people, mm -hmm. the Christian, will deliver us up 
for tribulation of the tribulation. Mm -hmm. That's just trouble after trouble after trouble. Jesus. And to do what? To kill yes. us. Yes, sir. And you will be what? Hated. By what? All nations. We will be hated by all nations. For what reason? For my name's sake. Now listen what it says. Hated by all nations. Jesus. That includes Jesus. the United States Jesus. of America. Jesus. U.S. of A is a nation. Mm -hmm. And this country hate you jesus freaks yeah you holy rollers jesus. this nation do not want you to call upon the name of the only name that can do something for people mm -hmm. verse 11. Mm -hmm. i'm sorry verse, uh, 10. verse 10. 10. and then many will be offended oh yes they are they're being offended by the name of jesus you can pray but don't pray in that name so you got to pray in somebody else's name. Why? Because we are afraid of what the Muslims are going to think. Who cares? They don't care about the, about the Christians. That's right. So why should we care about what the Muslim or the, the atheists think? Right. The name that can do anything for anybody and for any nation is Jesus Christ. Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. But, excuse me. Okay. But we have put our heads in the sand because we decided we want to have a liberal office, people in office. Yeah. Anything goes. Take Jesus out of the equation. You can call on God, but guess what? Mm -hmm. The word G-O-D is just a generic name. Mm -hmm. It does not specify which God. Mm -hmm. Okay. The almighty God's name right. is Jesus. Jesus. All right. He's Father, He's Son, and He's the Holy Ghost, oh, but He's one. That's right. All right now. Read for me, please. Uh, 10, let me finish 10. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, mm -hmm. and will hate one another. That's exactly what's happening. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. See, we're going to do away with God, mm -hmm. your Jesus, mm -hmm. in our schools, and we're going to introduce Jesus. all this other false stuff. Uh -huh. False religion, false Jesus. doctrines of the devil, mm -hmm. seducing mm -hmm. spirits. Mm -hmm. That they want to teach your children. Mm. And the reason why they're getting away with it is because most adults won't protest. Now, I said there's some things you need to protest. Mm -hmm. You need to protest your children mm -hmm. learning about sexual things. Oh, oh, you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Learning about what people do in private, grown ups. Mm -hmm. But your, your children in elementary are being taught things that you should be teaching your children at home. Mm. You talking about protesting? That's something you ought to be protesting. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy, glad I don't have any kids in school, mm -hmm. school age. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read, please, dear. 12. And because lawlessness will abound. Lawlessness will increase, which that mean, which is happening now. The love of many will grow cold. It is growing cold. Yes. The love of many is growing cold. Not only in the world, mm. but it's growing cold in the church. Oh, have mercy. Read. But he who endures to the end mm -hmm. shall be saved. See, that's why you have to get your eyes off of people. Come on now. Get your eyes off of the religious people. Get your eyes off of the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the atheists. Mm -hmm. Get your mind off of people and put your mind on Christ. Right, it's a now. shame when people can come to church mm -hmm. and can't get in the service because you're looking at somebody what they got on. Come on, Bishop. When will we ever grow up? Come on. When will we leave come on, come these on. elemental thoughts and principles mm -hmm. of the early uh, principles of the doctrine? All right, now. When are we going to go on to maturity? There you go. If you come to church and all you can do is look at somebody's outline of their bras and their panties, mm -hmm. what's going on? Mm -hmm. You're not there to church to serve and worship God. You there want to criticize. And I know it's in every church, religious mindset. Well, you know, you got to have some standards. I believe that. Yes, sir. But I don't believe that God was concerned mm. about what somebody got on versus what's in their hearts. All right, now. So good. So good. I'm tired of uh, babies and children mm. acting childish. You can't go on because we're stuck in the basics. Still talking about the baptism. Mm -hmm. Still talking about the laying on hand. Mm -hmm. Still talking about you got to speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. It's time for the church of God to grow up. Mm -hmm. It's time for God's church to get stronger and get stronger 
and put these childish things away. Paul said, when I was a child, I spoke as a, a child. child. But when I became a man, mm -hmm. I put childish things away. And that word man means when I be uh, mature. That's right. I put these childish things away. Read for me, please. And this gospel mm -hmm. of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. See, the only gospel that's being preached in the world now yeah, is Jesus mm. being Lord. Mm -hmm. The gospel of Jesus Christ and how to get saved. Mm -hmm. But it says when this gospel, mm -hmm. this one says 14, and this gospel of the kingdom, mm -hmm. this is part of the kingdom, that's right. part of the gospel of the kingdom, that's right. will be preached in all the world, the mm -hmm. entire world, that's right. as a witness to all the nations. Mm -hmm. See, we need to be telling the nations about this part of the gospel. That's true. Excuse me, about this part of the gospel. Yes, sir. Then the end will come. Yes, sir. But when it comes, will you be ready? Mm. Lord have mercy. Let's take a look at Proverbs. Oh, yes. Since we're talking about <laughs> what these young people are doing, playing these video games, mm -hmm. and this, they're infiltrating their spirit mm -hmm. and portraying or acting out what they take in. All right. Proverbs 30, 11 through 14 in the NIV. Okay. It reads there. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. You have children that will put their mouths on their parents in a heartbeat. Are mm. oh, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. They will curse their parents out mm -hmm. because they want their own way. Yes. Yeah. Throwing Ten, uh, which call them tantrums. Yes, sir. You know what? Mm -hmm. My son, he better not have to throw a tantrum mm -hmm. in the stores. Mm -hmm. I'd be on his backside like white on rice. You spank your children, you'll spoil your child, or your children grow up to hate you. That's what Dr. Spock said for years. Mm -hmm. Dr. Spock, Benjamin Spock. Said that for years that if you spank your children, they will grow up to hate you. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He lied. Because he had to come back after years later, after he done put that garbage out right. to make his millions to announce that he made a mistake. He All was right. wrong. All right. Spare the rod, spoil the child. Read for me, please. 12. Mm -hmm. Those who are pure in their own eyes and yet are not cleansed of their. Feel. See, they don't see what they're doing is wrong. I'm clean. I'm clean. I don't see anything doing uh, anything wrong. I don't see anything wrong with, with using drugs. I don't see anything wrong with me laying up with another man. I don't see anything wrong with me laying up with another woman, same sex together. They think they're pure because the government said they can do what they want to do. See, the government, following the government, is going to send a lot of people to hell. Mm -hmm. The government said you don't have to go to church. The government said you don't have to call upon the name of the Lord. The government, the government, the government. Mm -hmm. Some people got their hands out for the government. I always say you don't want to be held at the, uh, 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 in the hands of the government mm -hmm. because the government is going to lead you astray. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know somebody. Is, oh, does he really say it about the government? Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying it about the government. I don't trust our government. I don't trust some of these things they had put in position. Because it's not for my benefit on a lot of it. All right. Me, please. Uh, let's see. 13. 13. Those whose eyes are ever so haughty, mm -hmm. whose glances are so disdainful. They're so disdainful. They can't yes. stand you. That's right. Don't want to be around you. That's right. 14, please. Those whose teeth are swords mm -hmm. and whose jars are set with knives to devour the poor from the earth, the needy from among mankind. These are people who Lord like to mercy. devour one another, to mm -hmm. devour the, the innocent, mm -hmm. devour people. And mm -hmm. you can also add the fact that these are people who go around killing folks for no reason. Yes. Take yes. an innocent life mm -hmm. because you're mad about something, because you didn't get your way, mm -hmm. because mama did not feed you the right, the right meal. All right. Because daddy didn't have enough money to buy you the Air Jordans that cost three and four hundred dollars for your lazy self didn't want you to take the trash out. Oh, you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And so because you don't like 
the pair of shoes that your parents put on your feet to send you to school for an education. You decide you're going to throw a fit and mom and daddy gave in to your tantrum, bought you this, and now they bought you stuff to get you out of their hair, but they bought you some dangerous stuff. All right. These games. Right. Read for me, please. Mm, mm, mm. The main reason. The main reason why people commit these senseless acts of violence against innocent people, and that's going to be found in Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Give me Matthew 22. Mm -hmm. There it is. Thank you, uh, Sister Danielle. Uh -huh. Read for me, please. All right. Let's come from the King James Version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 37. Jesus said unto him, thou, ha thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Your heart and your soul and your mind. Mm -hmm. Your heart is talking about your mind. Your heart is also talking about your spirit. Mm -hmm. Your heart is also talking about your soul. So your heart, all your soul and all your mind. That's it right. says you shall love. Mm -hmm. The Lord, thy God, your God. Mm -hmm. Now, he's not everybody's God because they have not accepted him. Mm -hmm. But you shall love the Lord, your God, with mm -hmm. all your heart, everything in you. That's right. All of your soul and all of your mind should love the Lord. Verse 38. This is the first mm -hmm. and great commandment. The first and the great commandment. Mm -hmm. 39. And the second is like unto it. Come on now. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, main reason, mm -hmm. no love for God. Mm -hmm. Don't love themselves. Because if you love your neighbor as you love yourself, mm -hmm. you will not commit these atrocities against your neighbor. That's right. That's right. So it's evident that these people don't love themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are hating people because they don't, you don't look like them. You're black, I'm going to hate you. Mm -hmm. You're white, I'm going to hate you. You're Hispanic, I'm going to hate you. You're yellow, I'm going to hate you. You're Oriental, I'm going to hate you. You're Muslim, I'm going to hate you. You're Christian, I'm going to hate you. In other words, they hate themselves. Because if you ever trace your lineage somewhere, you got some of all of that mixed up in your line. It's true. That's you have true. to, because if you go back to the Bible with two people, Adam and Eve, produce a whole world. Hello? So we're related whether you like it or not. <laughs> and the reason why you don't like it is because you don't love the Lord and you don't love yourself. Mm -mm -mm. And Bishop, mm -hmm. more and more children Come on. are being raised without the benefit learning and loving the Lord and having a good relationship with Jesus. That is so true. So mm -hmm. many children. Mm -hmm. Are growing up without learning about the Lord right. and having a good relationship mm -hmm. with Him. That's right. They're producing the same thing that they are mm -hmm. a sinner. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Bible says we are born sinners and shaping and in iniquity. Mm -hmm. But in order to come out of that, you have to be born again. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, what these people are doing, these children are doing as they grow up. Not having a relationship with God, the Almighty, they're producing the same thing over and over and over. A young, violent person. Because if you're raising them without the benefit mm -hmm. of the Holy God That's right. and His That's Holy right. Commandments, yes, yes, you're raising a hoodlum. Mm -hmm. You're raising a potential killer. Because you see nothing wrong. With what they're doing. When you are blind, uh, sinfully blind, mm -hmm. your mind is blind, mm -hmm. your heart is blind, mm -hmm. therefore you see no wrong in none of it. That's, right. That's, That's why right. so many people can agree with mm -hmm. same sex. That's why the church, over 50% of the church body, the Christian body, mm -hmm. now believes in the same sex marriage. Right. Why? Right. Because they're spiritually mm -hmm. blind, right. they're spiritually dead. They don't have the Holy Ghost right. as their leader That's to right. guide them That's to right. all truth and righteousness. And they don't see anything wrong with it. And they don't see anything right. wrong That's with right. it. In their hearts and feelings, they don't see anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. and, and Bishop also, God has been put out of the government. God Almighty mm -mm -mm. has been put out of the government. 
here in the United States. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about nobody else. Right. I'm not talking about uh, Great Britain. I'm not talking about places in Asia. I am talking mm -hmm. about the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Of the government and out of our schools. And out of our schools. Mm -hmm. And the results of this Come on now. is what we have today. Go Come on. Amber, that's massacres in places that is supposed to be safe. See, when kids go to school, Jesus. it's supposed to be a place of safety. Yes, sir. When kids go to church, Ooh. it's supposed to be a place yes, of sir. safety. Yes, sir. But we have evil, which is going to be around us all the time. Mm -hmm. Even the governor, governor and the lieutenant governor of Texas Lord, made that statement yesterday during a press conference. Mm -hmm. That's when Beto O'Rourke made a jackass of himself, mm -hmm. taking an opportunity like that to make a political statement. If he thinks that's going to cause him to get more votes, I do believe he's wrong. Yes, I say I call him a jackass, and I'm going to call him another jackass because that's exactly what he did. He acted like a jackass when those parents were suffering from the loss of their loved ones. For him to have the audacity to stand up there to make a political point, to point fingers, this is the time for this country right. to come together That's and right. grieve together. That's right. So I agree with with uh, uh, Abbott, mm -hmm. Governor Abbott and Dan Patrick. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with everything they do, mm -hmm. but one thing they did say in their prayer, mm -hmm. they said this, we need to put God back mm -hmm. in the place upon the principles of his commandment that this country was founded upon. Right now. They had the, the audacity, they had the boldness to say that. To put God back. Oh, yeah, I know you got you liberals out there. Why is he talking about putting God back? We can handle this out there. You ain't done a good job. How's this working out for us? Since he's been out of government, since he's been out of school, now what do we have? We have more violence in school. When you can have a five-year-old that will threaten an adult. When kids are bringing guns to school in their backpacks. And you're worried about we're going to call upon God. We're going to call upon the only one who can save us. Right. Because you don't want God in your midst. Well, you know what? I suggest this. When we grew up, we had prayer in school. Mm -hmm. And the ones who didn't believe prayer, like the Jehovah Witnesses mm -hmm. and others, mm -hmm. go back to the closet. Mm -hmm. Get back in the closet mm -hmm. and stay there until prayer is over with. Let us pray freely. Oh, Bishop, you shouldn't talk that way. You're supposed to be a man of God. I am a man of God. I'm a mad man of God because I am tired of this, these horrific acts that are going against innocent people because you don't like the outcome of an election. You don't like who is in office. You don't like this or like that. Let me show you something here. Get ready to close up. What Jesus said in Matthew 23 and 33. All right. Jesus says this in red. Yes. Read it, please. Ye serpents. You serpents. That's a snake. Ye generation of vipers. Uh huh. How can ye escape the damn, damnation of hell? In other words, all of you, all of you, listen to me. If you have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior and turn from your wicked ways, mm. By accepting him and believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord right. and the son of the living God. Yes, sir. How will you be able to avoid hell? All right. This generation of vipers, there's a place in hell for you. And the word of God tells me that hell is enlarging herself, which means it's getting bigger and bigger to receive wickedness. And just because the people are going to church, everybody in church is not saved. They're not trying to be saved. Satan has some plants in the church. You may not believe that, you may not like that, but it's the truth. Because the word of God says, Satan can disguise himself That's as right. an angel of light right. and also as his, his demons, as That's ministers right. of God. That's right. So you better be careful who you put your trust and your confidence in. Right. Oh, you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You better be careful. 
because the devil, knowing that his time is running out, and as we say, misery love company, That's right. it's going to be a whole lot of people that you see sit up in church on Sunday mornings, singing and looking so pious, names are not going to be found in the Lamb Book of Life. Because in Revelation it says, your name can be blotted out. Yes. So don't get caught up on that stuff. Once saved, always saved. It's in there. It's in Revelation. Your names can be blotted out of the Lamb Book of Life. And so many people are deceiving themselves and being deceived mm -hmm. because you want to live the way you want to live. That's right. When you have given yourself to Christ, you're no longer your own. That's right. You have to be willing to allow him to be Lord of your life, which means he controls you. He leads you. He guides you. He's the Lord of our lives. That's, right. That's why when you come through the Rose of Sharon and you look around and say, oh, ain't that many people here? Guess what? He's a Lord of the rose. He's a Lord of our life. Mm -hmm. And we are not behind on anything. Every bill is paid. Everything is paid for. And the building got not 10 more months on the building. Right. And when people come in, it's not that many people. And we still take up one offer. Because he, God, is a Lord of the Rose of Sharon ministry. That's right. Amen. I gave him my word. I gave him my promise. God bless your daughter. I gave him my promise. I'll let him be God. Mm -hmm. And he said, let him be God. Mm -hmm. He will bless me. Yes. We're blessed. Amen. So people come and they laugh. They leave. They don't want to be a part of because they're so concerned about themselves and their flesh and don't want to learn. Well, y'all don't do this. Y'all don't do that. Guess what? I'm doing what God allowed me to do. I'm trying to teach us out of get us out of out of religion mm -hmm. and the elementary, so we can go on to perfection, right. maturity. But yet we're still talking about the baptisms and the man of the hands. So Marty asked, he said, you know, your frustration is because a lot of your people don't have the Holy Ghost. They haven't been baptized with the Holy Ghost. That's in every church, and I know that. But that's not my my um, my concern. Uh, my my thought, my dilemma. My dilemma is the religious mindsets. You hear what I said? Religious mindset. Because they can't get past the stuff they were raised on. Long dresses, no makeup, cotton stockings, no toes out, no pants. How many times have you been married? That's the only thing what most religious people are concerned with. It does nothing to enhance the body of Christ. So it's not the ones who, who does not have the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's the ones who say they're saved. How can you come to church and you, that's, it's, that's all you can look at? It's all you can think about. And when somebody stands up to preach, you have such disgust on your face because you didn't like what you heard. You don't like the way they preached. I'm not concerned about how well a person could preach at the road. I'm concerned about you preaching the word, That's right. teaching the word. Mm -hmm. This is why we have to be taught things. God told me at the beginning of this year, teach religion out of the people. Right now. The word I was looking for my, is my frustration. That's the word I was looking for, my frustration. It's not the ones who have not been baptized with the Holy Ghost. My frustration is the one who claims they have the Holy Ghost but can't get past silly stuff. If Jesus was here, it wouldn't bother him. Why? Because he ate with the sinners. He ate with the publicans. It was the religious folks turned their noses up and looked down when well, they go again, going to the house and sitting down with religious folks. I mean, with, with sinners. And Jesus was trying to get them saved. And that should be our responsibility, our job too. We get them saved and they will start teaching them about the love of Christ. Let God clean people up. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't bother me, it shouldn't bother you. Do we have some standards? Yes. When we go to our convention, there are some standards we're going to follow. But I'm more concerned about your soul than I am concerned about the flip-flops you have on your feet. 
because your flip flops can't do anything for you. It can't put money in your pocket. It can't save your souls. Your flip flops can't heal you, but God's word can. Well, what's going on? It can be a rhetorical question or it can be a question that you have to answer. What's going on with you? What's going on in this country? And the answer is everything but God. Because God is no longer wanted in places where he should be. He should be in our government. He should be in our schools. He should be in everything, every facet of our lives. So if you got your mind on the Lord, you won't be having your mind on clothes, flip-flops, or whatever. What's going on? We pray for those people in uh, Uvalde and all others. Oh, yes. The oh, ones yes. who suffered in the store shooting in Buffalo. Mm, what a mercy. Gunman goes in and, and kills up a bunch because of they're black. See what he, he was listening to. He was listening to stuff that Hitler wrote. Mm. And other neo Nazi skinheads. They were raised with hatred. You're not born to hate. You're taught how to hate. So what's going on? You answer that question. All right. That brings us to the end of this lesson. I, I am passionate about what I say, about what's going on. I'm concerned about the condition of the church, not just the rose, but the church period, because we have too many people are so uh, denom denomination size. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. My denomination is better than your denomination. Mm -mm. God is not concerned about a denomination. He's concerned about your soul. So if you shall die today, my friends and my sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. where will you spend eternity? According to the word of God, if you die in your sins, will you go to heaven? Right. My Lord, my family in April, my house got shot up three times. My son got shot in the back. We're so sorry to hear this and we're praying for your strength. And we'll continue to pray for you, daughter. We'll continue to pray for those because we, we feel your pain. All of us been a victim of some type of violence. Mm -hmm. All of us been victims of some type of situation going on in, mm -hmm. in our lives. Yes. We have to pray for one another yes. and get past this denomination rhetoric and open our hearts to the to believers. I don't care if you're Methodist, Catholic, Episcopalian, Baptist. I don't care what you believe in like that. I'm concerned about you having a relationship with Jesus. So can we grow? Can we get out of denominationism and get on the battlefield for the Lord? When he saved us, he didn't save us to keep us behind the four walls, but he saved us to plant us back into the world. But when, we, when he plants us back into the world, we have to let our light shine. We can't be closet saints, closet Christians. We have to be bold enough to let somebody know I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. a real Christian, mm -hmm. not one in name only. That when I see you looking the way you look, and I'm gonna put my Christianity on the shelf because I got ulterior motives about you, that's not a real Christian. Real Christians don't look at the opposite sex and have a fit. Mm -hmm. A real Christian overlooks a whole lot of things. But religious mindset and denomination can only point at, oh, you rode with sister so-and-so to church, or you, I saw you riding with so-and-so at the store. I told Bishop Doxy one day, he was over at the church doing some work on the air condition, and his wife came over with a car like my wife. She needed some high beam uh, lamps, headlights in it, and I told her where to go. And Bishop Doxy told me to ride in the car with his wife, and I told him, you know what the religious mindset of people are gonna say. And he said that they can kiss his holy feet. He can care less. 
We ain't got time to be worrying about what it looks like or don't look like. We're trying to do what God wants us to do. And that is show the love of Christ, having love one for another, not lust one for another, like some people do. Because you you have not been delivered from your lustful desires. That's right. Desires, That's right. you need deliverance. That's right. That's it. So if you have problem looking at somebody's outlines of in the garments, you got a problem. You may be lustful, or you may be religious. Get your eyes and keep them in your head, and get your eyes on God. Well, I can go on and on because I'm passionate about that. This brings us to the end. And we right. really hope that you will share this video and pray for the ones in Uvalde. Amen. Because I can only imagine how devastating those parents feel. Mm -hmm. My sister in San Angelo mm -hmm. sent me a clip that this one of the teachers, her and her husband were married. It was a high school sweetheart. They got four children and they were married for 24 years. He himself died of a heart attack mm -hmm. because he lost his love of his life. People, when tragedy strikes, we have to be strong. Don't allow the devil to give you a heart attack to keep your nice worry. Keep your trust, your faith, and your confidence in God. And that trust, faith, and confidence will rub off onto you where you will be confident, mm -hmm. not braggadocious, but confident that the Lord that you said you serve is the one that's going to take you to the top, take you through another levels and different dimensions. Because God has so much for us. Yes. But I'm praying that our light will be shining right in this dark world. Yeah. So every teenager who has turned their backs on their parents and on God, I pray and release the assignment that Satan has over your life. And I Amen. set you free in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. And I command you yes. to loose your thoughts, your heart back to Christ. Mm -hmm. Every demonic spirit, every demonic uh, thing you've been watching and, and listening to, I pray that your ears and your eyes will be blind to those things and open your heart for Christ. Amen. God bless you. Bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I wish I could see you put your hands together. <laughs> Those who truly, truly will give God some praise. Amen. 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 All Amen. right. We're going to show you how to be a blessing to the ministry. Amen. One thing about this ministry, it does not beg for money. We do not beg. We do not take up multiple offerings. So it's online, on, on the air. Yeah. How you can be a blessing to this ministry. Amen. Dr. Priestley, please Amen. tell them. We'll tell them one time. Tell them one time. Amen. There are many ways. Amen. You may give. Amen. To the Rose. One way is on through the internet, and that is www.therose.us. Internet, www.therose.us. Another way is Benmo. B E N M O. That's B E N M O, and that's Rose of Sharon Ministries at Royce Dash Priestley. Mm -hmm. Your Venmo is B E N M O, Rose of Sharon Ministries at Royce, that's R O Y C E, Dash Priestley, P R I E S T L Y. Mm -hmm. Another way you may give is Cash App. And that is dollar sign Rose Ministries 01. Your cash app is dollar sign Rose Ministries 01. Another way is Giveify, and that is you type in the following address 2030 Bible Street, San Antonio, Texas 78220. You type in Giveify, and that's 2030 Bible Street. San Antonio, Texas, 78220. Another way you may email your offering, again, that's Rose of Sharon Ministries, 2030 Bible Boulevard or Bible Street, it will get to the Rose, 2030 Bibles Boulevard or Bible Street, San Antonio, Texas, 
210-338-7820. Or you may call. There are three ways to call. One way is 210-325-9418. That's 210-325-9418. Another way is 210-857-8318. That's 210-857-8318. And finally, you may call 512-679-9734. Your final way to call is 512-679-9734. Amen. 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 Well, we hope to see your face in the place come Sunday morning yes. at 10 o'clock for our Christian education, yes. followed by a brief lunch, maybe, I mean, excuse me, uh, breakfast, mm -hmm. and then morning worship. We will yes. have a visiting church, yes. Bishop Grady Morris mm -hmm. from the Christian Family Church uh, in Shirt. He is moving to a new facility. He's going to be in uh, Bishop uh, Apostle Lilith's old church. Of a Walsham, that's where they're moving to. But he's closing his church down this Sunday to worship with us. Amen. He's bringing his church in. He's bringing about 15 to 20 people, which we're going to have morning service and we're going to feed them. And you're more than welcome to join us uh, at the church. Amen. During the Sunday school hour, our youth group, and we're asking you to bring your youth if you want to, because Dr. Priestley is going to talk to them, excuse me, during the Sunday school hour about these tragedies that took place in Uvalde. Yes, She's going to talk to them because she is a licensed Christian counselor. She's not a secular counselor. Mm -hmm. She's a licensed Christian counselor. So I've already invited some people to bring their children over and I hope that they they would do that. Now we're not trying to steal anybody. Let me let you know that because people have said I've stole their members. You can't steal grown folks. <laughs> and we, I found out something the other night that uh, someone said I, I was dealing drugs. Well, I am. I'm dealing the Holy Ghost drug. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because this word is just like a drug. Mm -hmm. Once you get hooked on it, you don't want nothing else but the word, the whole word. So help me God. Amen. 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 So God bless you. Uh, I can see the name Sonia. Dazzling bling, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're going to continue to pray for you and your family. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you continue to tune in uh, to help us to, to lift up Jesus. And let me say this. From somebody's calling in to, to make a donation. From time to time, uh, we like to bless those who bless the ministry. So if you have a cash app, mm -hmm. Send me your cash app. At my telephone number is 210-857-8318. Send me your cash app. And we will send you. I lost my train of thought. We will send you from time to time. We will bless you. Because we like to sow back into the the the, 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 mind, the minds and the hands of the enemy. I, I just got distracted. I got uh, I, I got distracted a few minutes ago. Uh, we would like to sow back into your lives. Amen. So that's the reason why I say if you have Cash App or Venmo, please send that to me. From time to time, we would like to sow back into your life. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.